So, in this project, I'll be making graphite powder or graphite dust. I'll be using this graphite to cool the surface of uh, a copper metal and uh, use it for future experiments like the sodium ion battery. So, you watch out for that uh, uh, particular experiment. Alright, so let's get started. For this project, you're going to need something like this. You're going to need something like this. This is a graphite powder. Okay, so um, I'm going to show how to do it. So I have this as uh, my sandpaper, and I'll take one of the graphite rods. Um, of course, you can see that uh, it's going into this category. Let me take it away. So, all right, so you can see that it's eating up because the result is there. Okay. And I put it here. Okay, so I try. So that's how to make it, okay? Uh, that's how to make graphite powder. This is a uh, oh, It's a very rough one. All right, so I put another one here. All right, so the next stage is to make uh, this sheet to coat it, coat this sheet with uh, uh, this graphite. But I need a binder. This is top one. And uh, okay. I have uh, graphite dust already, so I'm going to get some amount of binder. Okay, so I'm going to use this as my binder. This is top one. Okay. Alright, so. Apply some amount there. work is for the my future experiment. I'm not just using it to coat it, but uh, in my next video, I'll be using it to make uh, sodium ion rechargeable battery. So you watch out for that uh, particular project. So uh, okay, I think the, the banner is okay now. All right. So next stage is to coat my sheets. I will take this measurement. Of course, if you look at this uh, particular sheet, this aluminum sheet, it's coated with graphite. Okay. But I want to. So, I'm going to cut this part. So, I'm going to cut uh, pieces like this, just like this. I'm going to cut pieces like this. Okay. And. Uh, Okay, so these uh, pieces will be used for my next project, which is on uh, sodium ion recharge battery. Um, one important thing about uh, the sodium ion sodium is that uh, sodium is much more abundant than lithium. So yeah, I'll be using it for the sodium ion recharge battery right, in my next project. Because this project won't be covering that. Alright, so the next thing is to add a little amount of water here. Okay, it's okay, that's enough. And I will mix this up. Okay, I will make a mix. Okay. I will make I'll be making a mix. Okay. Let me get in some water, little amount of water. Okay. Yeah. 
I want to make it so thick. I want to make it so thick. Okay, I want to to be thick so that uh, it goes right into the plates, coating this uh, copper sheet. Okay. All right. So I have this sheet. So I will leave some little space here. So. So that painting, okay. Like I said, it, this will be used for my next experiment of uh, making uh, batteries, sodium ion batteries. So this one is okay. This one is done. I'll go for the next one. I'll leave a space. Okay, let me take it from here. I'm going to uh, coat either side of it, okay? But I'm going to allow the other side to dry up. Alright. So, the reason for coating this uh, sheet is to prevent the electrolyte from direct contact with this uh, aluminum sheet and also to uh, give a large surface area for the storage of charges too. I've been able to paint both the front and the back of all these other sheets. It's okay. So I did here this. So I'll be testing for the resistance. Okay, that's the resistance. Five, seven, okay. So let's test for this one. Okay, for this. Okay, they are almost the same value. Uh, let me test it. Uh, okay. So I'm putting the electro this uh, probe to the back. Okay, so it's just, so I did some yesterday. Okay, but these ones were not covered in the video. These ones have much wider surface area. So you watch out for my next video on uh, sodium batteries, uh, sodium ion renewable batteries. This and I uh, have about four in here. Thank you for watching. So see you in another video. Do like and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching.